guys, good morning. Today is February 1st and I'm pretty excited because the, oh, I hope I'm not covering the microphone. I am pretty excited because um, today the weather is predicting a massive snowstorm. It's supposed to go from, or the warning goes from six o'clock tonight, which is Tuesday, to, no, nine o'clock tonight to six o'clock Thursday. So Tuesday night to Thursday night, basically. I'm pretty excited because I have tomorrow off and so it's like I don't have to worry about driving in it or deciding whether or not I go to work or you know making that decision myself it's I already have the day off I get to just enjoy the snow <laughs> um, so I'm excited my goal for this month is to film more um, more actual comic content so yeah I'm gonna go to work and I will check in with you throughout the month Okay, so I'm in the uh, school pickup line for my job. I managed to have time, managed to have time. I managed to swing home and get a package from my mailbox. This is exciting, let's open it. I'm trying to do this for the checkout line, for the pickup line. Here we go. <gasps> Here we go. Patreon postcards. Ooh, that cape looks really red. Hold on, let me change the setting. <laughs> I had it set to like vivid. This is better. Oh, I really like it. Let's take it out of the plastic. Come out pretty cool. I like this. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm so bad at planning, if you see this and you want it, it's too late. <laughs> this was the reward for anyone who signed up in January, but. Um, if you like really want this more than anything in the world, I guess, send me a message and I'll talk to you about it. put this in my vlog so I'm filming myself. I was gonna film myself walking outside, but I have to take my gloves off to do that. It's too cold to walk outside on my gloves. Hey everyone, it's voiceover Miss Mark. Jumping in here. <laughs> I made it my goal to film a bit more comic making this month, and I think I accomplished it. I think I did a good job. Um, one thing I wanted to mention real quick here is you can see that I have like this mirror mode turned on. Uh, it's actually the symmetry tool in Procreate, which is under like the drawing guides. And I've started using this actually all the time. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if you've learned, if you're an artist, you probably learned the trick of like looking at your art in a mirror to try and find um, like the mistakes and stuff. And I discovered that using the symmetry tool kind of worked that way, but in a much faster, immediate fashion. So essentially I can look at my drawing in the regular mode or in a mirror mode and I catch mistakes way faster this way. So. Yeah, <laughs> I think in the vlog you see that um, a couple times. So I wanted to explain that's that's what's going on is uh, it's just a way for me to catch mistakes. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, during the course of this vlog, I also had my birthday and I, I kind of joked that I got to have my two favorite kind of birthdays, which is one where I just spent a lot of time by myself, which is always kind of nice. <laughs> I just feel like I, as an introvert, value those moments of just uninterrupted thought process time. And that was the first part of my birthday, was just 
drinking coffee and drawing. <laughs> it was phenomenal. And uh, it just also happened that I was drawing a page that I really liked and it came out well. It felt like my, my art brain's birthday gift to me. <laughs> Uh, later in the week, I got to spend my birthday with my family. So then we had a big family get together and a big dinner and cake and all that kind of stuff. So that was the party birthday. And then I had my introvert birthday earlier in the week. So two favorite kind of birthdays. Um, I also got a really cool birthday present that will show up later in the vlog. That was very, very exciting. <laughs> Um, and I went to go see Murder on the Nile with my mom, my sister, and my sister-in-law. I really liked it. I'm a big fan of, like, British murder mysteries, so I really enjoyed it. It was pretty intense, but I liked it. Um, and then on my birthday, I also treated myself to my favorite kind of shopping, which is plant. Plant shopping. And shopping for plant pots. And buying dirt to go in my plant pots. On my plants. <laughs> I once told my uh, my younger sister that like my ideal ideal self care treat yourself type of day was to buy plants and pot them, and I think I said it as a joke, but it's kind of turned into like actually my favorite thing: buying a new plant and potting it up, potting it down. <laughs> I don't know. I did that so. Um, yeah, that was my, that was part one of my birthday, and then later it was spent with family, eating good food, good cake, and watching good movies. So, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do on my birthday. <laughs> I've kind of missed potting plants a little bit. I haven't done it nearly as much, um, because it's winter, the plants just don't need to be potted as often. Um, so they just, they just grow a little bit slower in the winter, they become dormant and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's something about the smell of the soil and the new pots, I don't know, it's just very refreshing. I feel like uh, plants are kind of the perfect hobby for someone who already has a creative job because you can get really into plants, but once they're kind of stable, you can kind of just leave them alone. And they don't require constant attention, for me anyway. <laughs> They're not complaining. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of kind of the perfect hobby if you have a job that requires a lot of uh, mental energy. Good morning. <laughs> Today is February 10th. Um, yesterday was my birthday. It was really nice. I went and I bought some plants. I bought two plants, a new plant pot, and some soil. And I spent the first part of the day, first couple hours, drawing in the coffee shop. It was wonderful. And I've got like 40 minutes before I go to work. So I got my iPad here. I am going to, okay. I got my iPad here and I'm gonna do some comic work. I think I'm really close to um, finishing the line art for Season three, episode two. Let's see here. Yeah, I just have five more panels left to do. Only two of which are gonna have backgrounds. So I, I don't know if I'll get them both done before, or all of them done before I go to work, but that's pretty exciting. And then episode one of season three is all done on the iPad. It's ready for word balloons and stuff. And then episode three is like all over the place because I got excited about certain panels and like finished them before I even finished roughing out some of the other panels. So I have no idea how far along I'm there. But I also <clears throat> need to finish my February postcard design to order it, maybe before the end of February. <laughs> but I'll give you a little sneak peek of how it's coming. It's adorable. Like I almost am scared of how adorable it is because I don't usually do I do a lot of cheesy stuff. I don't know, this just feels like, is this too far? Is this, is this the breaking point? So, I'm like, so excited for this image, but <laughs> I'm so nervous. I've never, I feel like, I feel like I don't have a character like Toby right now 
besides Toby, like a character who is consciously cute. Like he, I don't know, he just like ramps up uh, the cuteness factor quite a bit. And so a lot of times I'm like, is this too adorable? <laughs> but I'm really excited for the image. I think it's gonna be a good postcard and I might get a print, like a big print of it, if it comes out good. We'll see. But I think, I think today I'm gonna work on the comic panels and then tomorrow I'll do the postcard and hopefully get it ordered by the end of the day. So, let's do it. So February was actually a very, very productive month. <laughs> um, like I said, I filmed a lot more comic making, but uh, more importantly than filming it, I really did make a lot of progress on my comic. Um, uh, maybe I mentioned this in the last vlog, I don't remember, but I have finally gotten fully back into the groove of making comics in my free time. It took me a little while to kind of get back to the stage, the mode where it's like automatic to work on my comic during the day when I have free time. Um, and I had to consciously remind myself to do it, but now it's just kind of like, yep, the kids are asleep for the next hour or two, then we're drawing comic pages. And uh, it feels really good to kind of have that rhythm back. Um, yeah, so I got the first three, I think I've mentioned already, episode one is done. I, I don't need to do anything else on that. Um, but I got episode two and episode three all inked, all outlined. So the next stage for those two is coloring, and I think I'm going to draft episodes four, five, and six kind of all at once. Because it's actually those three episodes are all going to be one scene. So I want them to have a good flow. So I'm going to probably draft them all together. Um, and I'm kind of excited to finally move past these first three episodes. Because these first three are sort of like a, not, not a recap, but sort of like a fresh reminder of like, here's where everybody stands, I guess. And I kind of felt like it sets the tone for season three. Just a reminder of what people are worried about, what they're hoping for, you know, and um, so, which I think it is good for storytelling, but for me personally, I already know, so it feels like a little bit of a rehash for me that I'm not as invested in, but then episode four, we have new developments, <laughs> and four, five, and six, I think, are going to be really, really good, so... Yeah, I'm excited to finally be done with these three and move on to fresh content. Content that is a little bit more motivating and inspiring to draw. I'm hoping that the readers feel that way too. Like, you know, thank you for this little season introduction. Now let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> I hope that's how you guys feel. <laughs> It's February 14th. It's, Valen <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Um, I just finished working today. I got off a little bit early, so I'm super excited. <laughs> I am really excited, actually. Um, 
but today I had some time to draw during my work day and I spent it entirely on side project stuff. I did no comic book work today. So in the couple of hours I have before bed, I am going to get my iPad out and do some comic work and then call it a night. In case you're wondering, I do have coffee, but it is a decaf latte, which I know still has some caffeine in it, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> But first, I'm sure you guys are all wondering what is this in the background. I'm so glad you asked. Let me show you. Ta-da! This is a new set of drawers for my art supplies. It's tall. <laughs> so when I was at the store, Hobby Lobby, uh, a couple weeks ago with my sister-in-law, I pointed this out to her and I was kind of, if I remember correctly, I was saying something about like, I have storage for my art that's functional, but I wish I had something like this that was aesthetic as well. Um, but I felt like I couldn't quite justify it because I had good enough storage, like I had boxes and stuff and, and shelves for my art supplies, but I really would like something like this. And then she mentioned it to my mom, so my sister-in-law and my <laughs> uh, parents collaborated and they got me this and my brother because he carried it <laughs> he delivered it so yeah the drawers in case you're wondering are full this is what I did last night and very early this morning let me give you a quick tour pencils watercolors pens <laughs> More watercolors. Actually, it's watercolors and gouache. Copics. Ohuhus. Other ohuhus. This uh, this top drawer. This are the ones with the brush nibs. These are the chisel and bullet nibs. Um, this is slightly. I was trying to avoid miscellaneous drawers, but this is like my palette knives cheap brushes, water brushes, and this is like masking fluid and stuff. Uh, sketchbooks. Watercolor sketchbooks specifically. More watercolor sketchbooks. Ink and nibs. Uh, Patreon mailing stuff, envelopes and stamps. Uh, watercolor tubes. Posca pens. <laughs> More watercolor pans, these should be up here. I might have switched those. Um, these are kind of watercolor accessories, so like extra pans, my drying tool, water jars, acrylic paint, watercolor sketchbooks, the bigger ones, uh, sticky things. <laughs> it's like glue, tape, a box cutter, sticky stuff. My Patreon stickers and postcards. Yeah, let's draw, let's draw some comic stuff before I get too tired. <laughs> and more comic drawing. And again, I'm using the, uh, the symmetry ruler guide effect thing <laughs> on Procreate. Um, I've, this tool has really become just an automatic part of my process now especially for drawing characters because I always make the mistake that a lot of artists make where like your drawing kind of skews to one side because I'm not looking at it straight on. You know, it's usually laying on my desk at an angle so then it's not like you draw at an angle and it comes out crooked. Um, so to kind of correct that, I the symmetry tool, because it's a reflection, it makes it look like it's skewed to the other side and it's much more noticeable. Um, but also just in terms of proportions and yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it's the same thing as like turning your drawing over or holding it up to a mirror to see the reverse image. Um, I just really, I really recommend this as a speedy way to catch your mistakes. <laughs> uh, but in addition to that, some other things I've been doing with the comic lately is I've gotten um, more comfortable with tracing, uh, which is cheating, maybe, but I don't care. 
maybe. <laughs> I go to websites like Unsplash where like the, the images are free for creative use, any kind of creative use. So I'm not stealing images. That's unethical. Um, but I get images that are free for use and if I find one that fits what I need to do, I'll trace it. And it's just, it just speeds up the process. So I think that's one reason my comic making has been going faster is I'm embracing efficient means of drawing. <laughs> He told us himself this morning. What? A hearing's been scheduled with the Joint Intelligence Committee. My intention wasn't to punish my father, sir. It was to stop my mother's execution from going forward. Okay. <clears throat> Not the best lighting because it's dark outside, but I got a box. I'm a little bit nervous. This is a type of product I've never made before of my own art. I own some of these, but I've never made them. But uh, Sticker Mule had a sale, so I took advantage of it. And we're going to see how it turned out. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're enamel pins. Are they enamel? Is that what these are called? I don't remember. The pins. Look at that little face. Can I get even closer? Can you do it? <laughs> this is very satisfying. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Wait, I just read something. This is not just a business card sample. It's important. <laughs> this says remove protective, remove protective film. Each piece includes a protective film to prevent scratching. So, it's a little tricky to get off. Oh, that's actually a lot better. I wondered what was going on because it looked like a lot of them were like scratched or textured, but it's just the protective film. So for comparison. Oh, and there's a lot less glare too. Yeah, there we go. Okay, much nicer. Okay, that's good. That's a little worried. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I feel like the colors even come through better. Okay. Yes, now I can go relax. <laughs> Did I buy a new plant today? Yes. <laughs> Did I need it? No. Did I buy it anyway? Yes. <laughs> it was five dollars. This is a five dollar plant here. Um, and I knew I wanted like a longer, stringier type of plant, a viney type of plant I should say to go on top of here and what I had on before was um, the snake plant and I wanted something more like a philodendron or a pothos so that's what I got it's pretty <laughs> okay we're gonna open some mail I've got a cool package at least a package that fingers crossed I hope is cool let's see oh boy oh I bought a new light too. pause everything <laughs> no wait first I need a tripod off. I bought a light. I got this at Target. There. Ta da! Uh, mainly because I need the light to be my main light for this room is up here on the right hand side. So when I draw on my desk, my hand casts a shadow. So I just need a small light to balance it out, and I love how small this one is, even when it's like unfolded and on, and then it can collapse pretty much entirely, so it's very, very nice. Okay, let's open some mail. Let's do this. bag like you can even see with my hands it has like a like it's not 
perfectly clear so every time I see the stickers in it they look really bad and then I pull them out I'm like oh no they're, they're okay it's Meg let's get closer I like it I kind of wish I'd done more something smells like it's burning I'll be right back we're all good <laughs> anyway I wish I had gone a little bit lighter maybe with the hair or something I don't know I kind of wish I gone lighter with the hair but at the same time I like she's a scary character <laughs> so I kind of like how dark it is get close I think it's fine I think it's okay all right cool so this is for February and the postcards for February haven't been ordered they're a little bit late but on the plus side I also ordered March's sticker so hopefully February is the last month for a while that I'm like behind okay now here's the thing she's a co-star how does it look with her co-star you know she's like smaller her design is not proportional but kind of like that Aww. <laughs> these two so excited to do their story so we got Toby and we got Meg I kind of like that they're not the same size it makes it cool I feel like you could overlap them if you're putting them on the same surface overlap them better anyway okay put them back in the bag I did get this vlog edited and it's uploading right now so it's gonna come out this evening I really like making the vlogs but I always uh, I'm tempted to convince myself that my main thing is comics and therefore videos are a waste of time but I love my microwave I love making them, so I feel really happy when I quote unquote allow <laughs> myself to do it. So. <sighs> I'm like way ahead on Patreon awards, at least a few months ahead, because stuff was on sale. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is like your preview for the next two to three months. This arrived. This is it. I expected um, to 
it wasn't supposed to arrive till next week. We got here early. Pleasant surprise. Ah! They both look so good. Okay, I'm gonna open them so I can show them to you. Oh, I'm so excited. First of all, February. So I'm gonna try and get this vlog edited today. <laughs> it's February 26th and then hopefully get it posted tonight. If it is still February 2022, you can sign up over on Patreon at the $5 tier to get this. It looks so nice. Good look at myself. So in February, if you are signed up at the $5 tier, you will get both of these things here postcard and a sticker. If you are signed up at the $3 tier in February, you'll get this sticker. Okay. So I'm actually already prepared for March. March, if you sign up at the $5 tier, you get this postcard. <gasps> Didn't this come out so cool? If it looks like it has imperfections on it, that's on purpose. I experimented with like a more, a way more distinct paper texture. Cause I get the cheapest papers. They're not supposed to be art prints per se. They're supposed to be postcards, but, um, so I just get plain paper. But for this one, I kind of tried to like fake a texture. So like that's part of the print, stuff like that. I think up close, you can tell it's a filter, but from far away, it looks like textured paper. I think anyway. <laughs> anyway, you get this print postcard, I mean, <laughs> at the $5 tier, as well as this. Um, I think I mentioned it in this vlog, but uh, Sticker Mule had a sale on their pins. And come on. There we go. Sticker Mule had a sale on their pins, so I took advantage of it. Normally, this would be way more expensive than a $3 tier prize reward thing. Uh, but they were on sale, so they were like the same cost as stickers. <laughs> I don't have a postcard yet for April, but I can't wait to show you the April stickers. So I'm gonna show you the stickers and then I'll come up with a print to go with it. Uh, Sticker Mule <laughs> had a sale on their circle stickers. So we have -da -da, this one. I went for a very different, what felt like a very different style for this. I wanted it to kind of feel like Alphonse Mucha a little bit. How close can we get here and still see detail? Okay, pretty good. Um, and I kind of wasn't hopeful. Usually when I try to like deliberately copy a style that's not mine, it usually just feels like, well, that's good, but that's definitely not my style. But somehow this one feels like me. I don't know how that happened. So yeah, we've got February postcard, March postcard, and then February sticker, March pin, and then April sticker, but I, I mean now I guess I have to do like an Alphonse Mucha style illustration to go with this, which would be really fun because this, I should have mentioned this. This character is Anessa, she's in my webcomic, but she's sort of a, um, like, <laughs> it would be fun to do an Alphonse Mucha style illustration of her because I think her aesthetic would fit Alphonse Mucha, but like, she'll probably be holding a shotgun. Okay, now we can close out the, the vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like seeing this sneak peek of all this stuff. This feels like merch, doesn't it? Don't it? <laughs> that is it for the vlog. Again, thank you for watching. Um, and since I'm sewing all this stuff, I think I need to do a special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. You're so, like both my supporters, but also my guinea pigs, testing out these new illustration styles, illustration techniques, and uh, hope you like them. <laughs> I think you will. I'm so happy with them. I'm so happy with the colors and uh, anyway, yes, thank you to patrons and then also thank you to everyone who watches my videos. No one's forcing you to be here, so it's pretty cool that you choose to spend all this time watching my videos. <laughs> okay, 
Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.